Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new around here, my name's Jenny. Today I'm showing you how I like to work out at home. So I'm gonna start by warming up and then we're gonna do a bit of cardio and then we're gonna finish off with some weights, mainly focusing on my arms and shoulders. So we're gonna start just by jogging on the spot. I just want to quickly say if it looks like I'm running really fast it's because all the clips in this video are sped up. going to do some jumping heart rate and you've got your body a little bit warmed up we're going to do some stretching now when you're stretching to warm up before a workout make sure you are holding each stretch for at least 30 seconds if you do it for less than 10 seconds it's really not going to do anything another good tip would be to breathe in a little bit as you're pulling a stretch and when you breathe out pull that little bit further just gently Breathe in, pull again, and breathe out and see how far you can stretch. Okay, so now I've finished warming up, my shoulders are really nice and loose and warm, so I'm going to start doing my weights now. So my preferred way of training with weights is to use a small amount of weight and do higher reps. So here I'm doing three different exercises and I'm doing 10 reps, I'm going to do a total of three sets. It's really important to take it nice and slowly, engage your core and your tensing every time you're finishing each exercise. If you haven't properly used weights before, I definitely recommend starting with a lower weight and get the technique right and feel comfortable at one weight before you step up to a heavier one. So in the same way as the dumbbells, I'm using a smaller weight and I'm doing a high amount of reps. I'm doing four different exercises with 10 kilogram barbell and I'm going to do that three times through. So another tip I would give if you're trying weights for the first time is breathing can be really important. So what I try and do is I breathe in when the weights are coming towards me and I breathe out when they're going away from me. So like with the press here, I'm pushing out, so I'm breathing out, and then when I bring it into my chest, I'm breathing in.
usually when I'm at the gym, I like to finish off by using the treadmill or the cross trainer or even the sit down bike just to do a bit of cardio to finish off. So as I'm working out from home, my choice of exercise is going out on my bike for about half an hour. So I've just got back from my cycle. I did 6.6K and I did that in 29 minutes. I always like to finish a workout with some sort of cardio just because I feel like it stretches me off a little bit. But I will also do a little stretch routine now to cool down properly. Um, in the meantime, I am gonna make myself a protein shake. So the one I'm using at the moment is the Bulk Vegan Protein Powder. Um, for me personally, I'm not vegan, but I prefer to cut out as much dairy as I can from my diet. So I've got the flavour strawberry and I've had a few of these already and they make me feel quite full, but also um, I feel like I've got so much more energy throughout the day and I don't feel tired until I need to go to bed. So I'm putting one scoop of the protein powder, which is about 35 grams. And then I'm adding 250 ml of water. I just like cold water as well and sometimes I'll put it in the fridge just so it's nice and cold. And then I put the lid on and give it a big shake. So now I'm going to have a little cool off. I'm going to stretch the muscles that I work during the workout which includes my shoulders, my arms and my legs from cycling. If you have any questions or recommendations for me please let me know in the comments down below. If you enjoyed this video please give it a thumbs up and if you want to see more of my videos please subscribe to my channel. It means a lot. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you again next week.